Cry the Champions, a documentary directed by Bartle Bull, following three young hopefuls as they prepare to compete for the New York Daily News' Golden Gloves competition. Do you know what Golden? The, the, you know what the Golden Gloves? I mean, I'm guessing, but yeah. Know. So no, so it's a boxing thing, but it's am, it's amateur boxing, and it's something which I mean, it's it's very. It's very big if you know anything about boxing, which I don't. I only know about it because it's referred to in The Exorcist that Damien Karras used to be a, a mm-hmm. Golden Gloves boxer. So anyway, the documentary follows uh, James Wilkins, Nisa Rodriguez, Titus Williams, as they all prepare to take part in the next Golden Gloves competition. And what it's really... On the one hand, yes, it's about boxing and it's a documentary about boxing. And as we know, everything I know about boxing, I only know from the movies. But very much in the same way that Mining the Gap is not a documentary about skateboarding, this is really a documentary about a lot of other things beside the boxing. Here's a clip. In 2013, I won the Golden Gloves. And then it come in 2014, this guy just came at me and he just took it from me. This year, I can't be complacent. Just gotta stay hungry. Hunger is a big thing in this sport. I seen all the champions that came before. Legendary guys. These guys went on to win world titles. I made history in 2013 and I'm back and I'm to make history again. Titus is looking better and better because he's committed to his conditioning. I had to have a chat with him about, you know, you won that Sugar Ray Robinson award, you know what I mean? You were on top of the world, and then, you know, maybe you slacked a little bit, and, you know, you can't let these young, hungry kids come up because they want to beat you. They got your picture on their mirror in the gym, man. You're the guy that they want to beat. So, you know, maybe I think I motivated him a little bit with that talk because he's been on fire since. The thing about um, boxing, as I said, I've never, you know, I've never watched a boxing match. Um... But I had, but there is a there's a lot of boxing in in movies, both you know in, in dramas and in documentaries. And what Cradle of Champions is really about is about the world around the boxing ring. In the same way as I said before, that Mind in the Gap is about everything else that kind of brings the kids to the, the skate park. So we hear about um, how much each one of the contestants has invested in the competition and how much more importantly their community invest in them each one of them faces their own challenges one of them has anger issues to deal with he's very very focused but also you know seething anger when things don't go his way and he has to learn to control that Another one is a young woman who has a child and she's balancing a number of different things, but she's very aware of the fact that she has become a role model to people, that what she's doing is she's showing that you can achieve anything if you want to. And she's very, on the one hand, she's proud of it, but she's also conscious of the fact that that's a weight, both for her child and for the wider community that she's inspiring. Um, We see... Uh, people in church in which the the church celebrates success but at the same time as the celebration of success there's the pressure that failure therefore would be letting everyone around you down we hear about how community gymnasiums have started to fall by the way and the the great program that they had before a way of you know getting kids off the streets and into something which would focus their energies is something which is of which more is needed and i mean we also hear from like you know mothers who are they don't want their sons to get into boxing because they think you know you're my son uh, it's a dangerous sport it's something it is a sport in which you can be very very badly hurt and yet the other side of it is that it can take you from, you know, a, a, a dissolute life, a life in which you could be running with gangs, in which actually what you're doing is spending your time in, in the gym and learning all these. So it is, it's really fascinating because I said I, I I've, I've never, I've never had any sort of first hand. Have you, have you been to a boxing match live or anything? I have not been to a boxing match. Live. Okay, but are you, are you interested in it at all? Uh, uh, not. Not in, not enormously, no. Okay, because I think I admire it when I hear uh, good commentators talking about it. Right. Okay. And I'm happy to be educated. And when Mike Costello 
is talking about it and describing it, I'm sort of hooked into the drama of the moment. Okay. I mean, I think the thing for me is that this is almost, this is more interesting than documentaries about great big title fights because it's, because it's much more street level. It's much more about the lives, the families, the environment. You know, it's, it's much more about that than it is simply about what's going on in the ring. And of course, it reminded me to some extent as well of some of the greatest scenes in Fighting With My Family, which are the scenes of the brother teaching wrestling to the young kids in the local community and realizing that actually that's what his great you know his great power is that he can pass this on because he's and there's an awful lot of people you know a guy who's a firefighter who was at 9-11 and talking about the way in which all his energy is channeled into running the gym into running the boxing training because he sees it as a way of you know of, of inspiring a next generation of kids and all these things are going on in what is basically a documentary following a group of people who are going to take part in the boxing contest but i thought it had it it really but if it works for somebody like me who has no fundamental interest in boxing then i think it's doing that thing that i always say a good documentary will make you interested in a subject that you didn't know you were interested in before because what it's doing is it's talking about universal themes through a very specific prism of a subject which it tells you enough that you can follow it but it doesn't assume that you have to be a, a great enthusiast of it. I thought it was very, very powerful. What's it called again? It's called Cradle of Champions, and it's the second really interesting documentary out this week. So it's a it's a good week. <laughs>